What's up, YouTube? Back again with another video. And yes, my hair is messy. <laughs> Life's been crazy. Bushy beard. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so I'm back with another video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys a pair of shoes that I picked up on OfferUp. They are the Nike SB Dunk Low Pro Firecrackers. I think these are the 2013 releases. Now, a little backstory. I personally love Dunks, all right? I love dunks. Back in the day, when I was in high school, I was always just, I was always skating dunks, all right? These, in my opinion, are the best quality shoe to skateboard in. Now, I'm a big fan, I'm a big fan of dunks, but Vans is always gonna be my favorite shoe no matter what, because, I mean, I made a whole Vans collection video, so you guys should check that out, but yeah. I love Vans, but, Nike as the dunks, dude. I I love dunks. I've already. I think I went through like three pairs of dunks skating. I had the. I had a pair of blue and gray versions. I'm not good with these names, guys. But I also had the red, the red firecracker editions. Now when these, now when these came out, I was super, super. I was actually like really, really interested in these, but I never got them. But I ended up getting the red pair. I never got the black pair. Because at the time, I had another pair of black dunks, the, the black and whites. I did a video on those, cleaning those up. I'm telling you, man. Skate, skating dunks, dude. These are the best quality shoe. Because, man, funny story. When I got the red pair of these, um, you know, I just bought them and stuff. And <laughs> I was in school, and it was lunchtime, and I dropped ketchup on my shoes. And it, it created a big-ass stain. So, of course, I was bummed out. And uh, I was like, damn, because, you know, at the time I didn't I didn't know how to like clean sneakers like that or anything. So I was like, you know, what? I just started skating them. They lasted me almost two years, guys, of skating and just tearing them up. I recently just got rid of them. But yeah, man, I never. Uh, it's just crazy how these days, you know, the hype beasts, they take over these shoes now and. It's just sad how you have to enter a raffle just to buy a pair of shoes, like something so simple. Because I remember back in the day, you, I literally could just go to the skate shop and buy a pair of dunks, you know. But unfortunately now, because the hype beasts, all these sneakerheads and all these fools want to take over the dunks. And, you know, now you got to get in a raffle just to buy a pair of shoes. And unfortunately, if you don't win the raffle, you're asked out. You got to buy, re you got to pay resale. That's like triple the price. Which freaking sucks. I mean, there's been so many dunks that I wanted to buy, but unfortunately, because I've missed out on so many raffles, I was never able to buy a pair of dunks. But yeah, but yeah, I don't skate anymore, so I don't, I don't skate dunks and stuff like that. I don't skateboard, so. But yeah, anyway, so enough jibber jabbing. <laughs> Little backstory on dunks. So I picked these up on offer up. Um, crazy experience getting these shoes i don't know man but the person that sold these to me <laughs> it was a pain in the ass to get these guys because let me tell you i mean it was a good price because i know these can go for a little bit but again so the person that sold these to me talking about oh i'm sending my wife to you i'm sending my wife i can't get them right now you know so my wife this my wife that i'm like bro like why can't you meet me i'm supposed to meet you to buy these and yeah his wife comes then his paypal or zelle or whatever isn't working i was there for like two hours guys like it was a pain in the ass i don't know why the dude couldn't come out but it was obvious why he couldn't come out <laughs> that house arrest though <laughs> so his wife looked like she was pissed off I asked her how come he didn't come, and she's like, he just couldn't come. I'm like, yeah, because he's on that house arrest. <laughs> so, yeah, but anyways, I finally got these. When I got these shoes, guys, these things were beat. These things were hella beat. The soles were so yellow. I think it was this shoe. This shoe right here, the sole was super, super yellow. You know, as you can see, it's just really bad. And it took a lot to deoxidize these shoes. I had to do like five sessions of the Salon Care 40. It, it was a minute. It took a minute to restore these shoes. And the shoe itself was just dirty. And the lace, the guy didn't even, as, I mean, as you can see, the guy didn't even put the laces on. He was that lazy, I guess. I mean, come on, man. The box is completely thrashed. I don't really care about the box that much. 
but the shoes were just super beat and you know i had to do my best to try to bring these bad boys back to life so these are what they look like now i mean i try my best to just get them white but i think that's the best i can do i mean they're still a little bit of yellowing showing i don't know if you can see it on the camera right here but yeah i try my best i mean the soles are good still I cleaned up the soles a little bit and the inside of the shoe is pretty cool too. It has a firecracker inside. It's pretty dope. But yeah, so I originally got these to see if I could maybe do something with them. It says caution final on the back. I think the, I think the red ones say something else. I think it says warnings, dangerous, or I don't know, something like that. I don't remember. It's been a minute since I had the red ones. So, but yeah. I never got a chance to buy these shoes when they first came out. I just never couldn't get them. Well, actually, I just didn't have the money. I just went ahead and got red because I like red. But yeah, so honestly, I got these to see if I could do something with them. But I'm not going to lie, guys. Now that I have these in person, I freshly cleaned them up. I don't know. They're starting to get onto me a little bit. So maybe I rock these to see how they feel and stuff. And uh, I don't know. We'll go from there. But yeah, so these are the 2013 Nike SB Dunkla Pros. These are the firecrackers. Really cool shoe. Again, got these on offer up. Crazy experience. I restored these. I didn't get to record me restoring them because it was just too much. And again, I don't live alone, so and I don't have a camera equipment and all that. I'm not a YouTuber like that. <laughs> so I don't have tripod. I don't have none of that crap. It, it's it, it's a lot of work, man. So <laughs> I enjoy making these videos, but sometimes it's just a lot of work to, you know, just to what, get 20 views. <laughs> so, but hey, I don't know. You never know. That's why I keep going because you never know one of the videos can take off and the channel can take off. But I enjoy making videos. So, yeah, so these are my, uh, these are my take on these shoes. I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'm going to see if I can do it on a feet to show you guys what they look like. And since, again, I like reds, so I went ahead and threw on the red laces. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I keep them, keep them on or go with black? I mean, both of them look cool, but I'm always a red guy. All right, so that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm going to try to do the on feet now.